You showing off? You showing off? What you got? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you're so cute. You can't go outside, you're just outside. The bones are award for being... Oh. Points. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? It is not even morning, I'm not gonna lie, it's two in the afternoon. <laughs> So I have been resting all day. I think maybe the combination of traveling and being back in the cold didn't make me want to get out of bed at all. Boy left, he had things to do. And I guess I'll see him later, I'm sure. Yeah, I just feel really sad today. I don't know, like, thank God I'm going to therapy in like an hour and a half because I need to like situate my head and figure things out. But I feel like I have no reason to be sad, but I am sad. <laughs> Is that depression? <laughs> I just like, I have a lot going for me and I think it's just, again, being here. There's so many memories here and, you know, I just want to move on and, and find like a new place to kind of hang my hat at the end of the day and maybe just be on my own, discover new things about myself along the journey. I'm not too sure. Have you ever felt this way? Have you ever felt like everything is going right, but maybe you're waiting for something to go wrong or Maybe you're just anxious and not know how to feel about it? I don't know. For those of you who don't know, I was nominated for a Shorty Award in the LGBT category. I'm not sure if I said that already, but I'll put the link below. You guys can vote for me. You can vote once a day. That would be really cool if I won. It would be really cool if I went to the award ceremony just to even go there. It's the day after my birthday, April 15th, in New York City, which is ironic. I don't know. Like, it's just like a dream come true to be among peers and validated with some sort of body or organization. I don't know. Should it validate me? <laughs> Why do we let things like that dictate how we feel so much? Should it? Answer below. <laughs> Back on that lean diet after eating crappy for a week. Right, Lini? Rolled oats, a little bit of agave nectar, and some cinnamon. Excuse the the hat hair. I just got out of therapy. It kind of dawned on me that I'm approaching my year mark on therapy and it's weird to think that I've been doing this for a year and I think I'm gonna make a, a video about it exclusively. The red lights flashing that always gives me anxiety. I forgot to charge the camera. I'm at a crossroad in my life and you know I've talked about previously about taking myself seriously and I think I'm there and it's challenging. It's growing up isn't easy. <laughs> I think we all do it at certain points of our lives and sometimes we act like big kids pretending to be adults and that can be problematic and I think I fall into that category. You know, I, I'm a successful business owner. I work hard for what I do and somehow I still feel like I don't deserve it or I brush it off as if it's handed to me. And it's not, and I need to start appreciating what I do for myself and realize that I deserve it because everyone deserves to be happy and to make a living and to be productive. But why, <laughs> why don't I feel like that? Mm-hmm. Hey guys, it's me, <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna go get some pizza. I have been a lazy bum and have literally done nothing all day. And until, I'm starving. Until the boy found me and give me puppy. So, let's go eat pizza, please. <laughs> dog. <laughs> dog. That's a good dog. <laughs> is there such thing as a bad dog? No. Exactly. Just talking. Two guys chilling in a hot tub. Five feet. Two bros. Oh. Okay, take two. Two bros chilling in a hot tub. Five feet apart. Cut the knife. 
Back to the park, cause I'm not gay. I love that. That's cute though. You. Thank you. That was the first time. What? Imagine if that was the first time <laughs> that I said it. <laughs> Capture on film. Yeah. <laughs> that should be the title of the video. It said I love you for the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Everyone's gonna be like, it's only been a week. Because yeah. they've only known me for a week. <laughs> Like, oh my god, he's still going through a divorce, and he has a boy rant. Oh my god. That's my bitch. And what? 